my friends, welcome back. This time I am pumped for this video. So guys, 26,000 subscribers, thank you all so much. This is a very special video to celebrate. I've gone ahead and I've constructed the most legendary barbecue platter you've ever seen. This thing has some serious weight. I don't even know if I can finish this all, I'm not even gonna lie. There's a lot of food here. The total calories for this meal right here will be on your screen now. And also guys, I wanna give a massive shout out to Artist Vibes Newcastle for painting this epic new background that I've got here. And also another massive shout out to a company here called Creative Nature. They provided me with the cornbread mix that I've actually used on the side here to make these epic cornbread muffins and also a very special dessert, which you guys will be seeing later on. And I'll also explain a little bit more about this company right here. But let me just kind of explain what is on this monstrous platter. So starting over here, we have got some sweet cornbread muffins that I made this morning. They are topped with uh, maple syrup and sugar. We have got some barbecue chicken strips. We have got some barbecue chicken wings. We have got some waffle cut fries. Now these things right here, these are super cool. These are mac and cheese spring rolls. So it's a spring roll filled with mac and cheese. Sounds amazing. Speaking of mac and cheese, we've got a big pile of homemade mac and cheese off to the side just here. We've got four giant corn on the cobs. And then these things right at the back, these are little mini southern fried chicken barbecue sliders. So it's a little bread bun, got a little crispy chicken tender, there's mayonnaise and barbecue sauce. And then this is totally random. Right down here, we've got a, a small Domino's a ranch barbecue pizza, purely because it was free and I love free stuff. Guys, this is gonna be absolutely epic. Dessert is also gonna be insane. I've got a bunch of different sauces. I've got some ketchup and, and stuff over here, off to the side. I've also got the leftover mac and cheese. No food waste here. And then guys, because this is a celebration, I've got myself a nice little glass of Pepsi Max. Sugar free. All right guys, you, you know the calories. It's over 10,000, I do believe. That's including dessert, which is behind here. I'm not gonna ramble on any longer. I've got a timer. Remember guys, drop a like on this video, that would mean the absolute world. That said, we're eating barbecue. I'm going to try this pizza first, I'll be honest. Like I said, it was free. On a, I actually won a competition thing. Go on. It's a good pizza. Pass the pizza down. This is literally gonna take me over an hour, I've got a feeling. All right, I wanted to show you guys these cornbread muffins. These are awesome. You can't get cornbread here in England, or it's really hard. So this company right here makes a mix so you can make it yourself. This is fully vegan, uh, but the recipe that I actually use is the non-vegan version, topped with maple syrup and sugar. It's so good. Mm. All right, whoa, oh, this is gonna be a rough one. Right, a mac and cheese spring roll, so it's frozen, you pop it in the oven. Mm-hmm, and it's literally filled with mac and cheese, it's great. Bit of ketchup. All right, got some chicken strips, these are barbecue chicken strips. Got some meal. Okay, right. We'll try out some of these crinkle cut waffle fries. Yes. Now, normally I'm not a fry person, but these are crinkle cut and they've got seasoning, so. Mm hmm. As far as fries go, not bad. The annoying thing is, it doesn't even look like I've ate anything. Okay, um, I'm gonna try one of my little chicken sliders, I guess. So there's mayonnaise, chicken strip, barbecue sauce, a little bread roll. Not bad. I 
I saw the fries down, I think. Oh, okay. I'm gonna try. I've got um, a spare ball of this mac and cheese that I made. I'll have this and then I'll use this for the bones. Oh, what time are we in? 13 minutes, roughly. Oh, wow. It's travelling down so slow. Right, we'll try these wings out. These are barbecue wings. Decent, decent, not bad. Nice little flavour on them. By no means are they the best wings ever, but not bad. Bought a lot of food. I don't even know what that is. It's like a chicken ball. It's literally just like a ball of fat. Ew. Guys, I've got to be honest, these wings are pretty terrible. Very fatty. That's just fat. Alright, I know they're obviously frozen and they're not going to be the best, but they were pretty terrible. I'll be honest, that pile of mac and cheese is looking very intimidating right now. I'll have a few more cornbread muffins because these are delicious. These are very nice. You can see all the sugar that I added to it. I should, oh, there's a dog here. Um, I should probably get started on this mac and cheese. I don't know why I did so much mac and cheese. On the plus side, it does taste really nice. This is just a lot of it. You know what, actually I haven't thought about it. There might be more than five kilos here. Because I think there's about one and a half kilos just of mac and cheese. Well, I'm gonna finish these little mini sliders, then the mac and cheese, then the cornbread, then I'm gonna finish with the corn. And then I've got dessert, man. Dessert is um, looking quite intimidating right now. You guys can't see it, but you will. <laughs> oh, wow. It's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. Dog hairs attacking me now. There's getting loads of dog hairs everywhere. If you're wondering why I haven't touched the um, Pepsi Max yet, I'm saving that, saving that for when I really need it, which is coming soon. Mac and cheese, cornbread, corn, dessert. Just the fact that this is cold now is making it quite off-putting. The cornbread muffins are going to be the hard part. My personal, well, one of my personal favourites, Call on the Cob. Absolutely love it. Alright, now for the one, two, three, four, five, six cornbread muffins and then dessert. I will say though, these cornbread muffins, honestly, are really really good. I love cornbread. This would be even better with corn added into it. 
But guys, if you want to see me create a giant barbecue sandwich using the rest of this cornbread mix, let me know. I'm talking about I'll create some kind of massive barbecue sandwich, I guess. Ah, uh, okay, what time? 41 minutes, you know what? For about what? What was probably 6 kilos of food. Not bad at all. By the way, I have to pair of socks using to um, prop that up. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to quickly clear this up, and then we're going to get onto dessert, which doesn't seem appealing anymore, but you guys know me. Always room for dessert. Always. I need to try and get through this relatively fast before I poop myself. So, uh, this is just, I don't even, I don't even know anymore. So this is obviously the cornbread mix from this awesome company that I just had, Creative Nature. They've got a whole bunch of different mixes and bacon mixes. It's a vegan company or a vegetarian company that specialise in obviously vegetarian and vegan alternatives. So they've got stuff like brownie mixes, um, banana bread mixes, cookie mixes which I definitely actually want to try because after trying this, it's fantastic. Now I follow the um, non-vegan version recipe, which uh, basically just uses two eggs and 200 ml of milk, full fat milk obviously, and that's per bag. And for those cornbread muffins and this, I use two bags. Um, so it's roughly just over a kilo of cornbread. So right here, what I've got is a dessert version. So cornbread can be had either sweet or savoury. So right here, I've got a, this is like a pound loaf. This is stupidly heavy. Um, of the cornbread, I used maple syrup, and then it's topped with more maple syrup, more sugar. Then it's topped with a duo chocolate spread, which is white chocolate and milk chocolate. It's then topped with Reese's peanut butter pieces and a Kit Kat cookie dough chunky. Uh, oh. And I'll be honest, it doesn't look as appealing anymore. Oh, forgot to mention guys, if you want to pick up um, some of this cornbread mix or anything from the website, I'll have a link down below by the way, awesome company, I'll definitely be um, trying more of their stuff out. Use the code KYLE10 when you check out and you'll save yourself 10% of your order. So that's not bad at all. But I would highly recommend trying out this cornbread mix. If you've never tried cornbread, it's amazing. Just maybe not this much of it. Right, now do I use a spoon or do I just go for it? Try a spoon. Oh, that's dense. This would have been great warmed up, I'll be honest. Cornbread. Topped with chocolate, Reese's peanut butter pieces, and a Kit Kat and spread. It's so good. It's just very. Well, it's like cornbread, is all I can really say. And cornbread is um, quite dense, quite. I don't want to say dry because it is quite moist. But sweet all the way. I need a number two so bad. I'm sorry for the information, guys, but happiness is sharing. I'm all about sharing. Other than food, I don't share food. Oh, come on. Kick okay, up. Don't do this to me. Normally dessert is something fairly light to cleanse the palate. This probably weighs as much as one of my feet. Massive. God. Right. I don't even know how I eat it, honestly. Right, this bit's got a massive chunk of Kit Kat. Kit Kat cookie dough. Chocolatey and delicious. How much fibres in this? Actually, to be fair, there's not much fibre at all. Oh, this is going to be touch and go. This. Honestly, there might be. I might have to run here. I'm not even joking. I might have to run. Oh. 
On the plus side, this Kit Kat is delightful. It's not fun anymore. The things I do for you guys. I really just want some milk right now, you know? Just so you guys know, I've been recording about an hour now. Challenge took like 41 minutes, so that just shows you how long it's taken me to get this down. Final bit of Kit Kat. Oh my god. Oh. Right. Luckily, dessert was not part of the actual challenge. Because if I try and finish that, something's gonna um, happen. So I'm gonna wrap this up fast before it does. Amazing, by the way. Honestly, check these guys out Creative Nature. Links down below. Check out Art Vibes Newcastle. Does amazing graffiti art. And guys, thank you so much for 26,000 subscribers. Plenty more crazy challenges to come. Like, plenty more. I'm going to quickly run off to the to the little boys room and uh, drop the kids off at the pool and guys I will catch you in the next video thank you so much for watching yeah I'll catch you in the next one